I'm going to share the progress and what I've learned over the past two days when working on my two card system. Now, I'm not going to explain the two card system because I don't understand it yet. And I actually ran into some problems with the system's coding and I thought I had to redo some sections and lose some images. It made me very, very upset. And so once I actually understand it and fix it so it works for me, then I'll explain it. But the first thing I learned was you create as many images as possible. Just fill the system in. Now, what do I mean by that? <clears throat> well, I'm the type of person that gets upset when there is a space here because I like everything done in order. Well, that went out the window when I had a thousand plus images to get done, right? And so I started just jumping around, filling out images because you have so many images to get done. It doesn't make sense to go in order because you might be stuck here for 30 minutes. And believe me, I've been here. You've been, you get stuck for 30 minutes while you could have been working on other things and get 30 more images, 50 more images in the same time. So it's stupid to get stuck on one thing when you have a thousand plus other things to finish as well. So that's the first thing. Now you might be thinking, Johnny, how are you creating your images if you don't have your card system? Good question. <laughs> well, the card system can be described in numbers. So 10 of spades, 10 of spades, or 10 of hearts, 10 of hearts could be zero, zero, zero. Now it comes to the coding on how all this works. This is part of the coding spade, spade is a zero, S or Z. And so this is for the numbers. Now this is the major system. So zero is SZ, one is TD and so on. The major system is based off the phonetics of the word, how you're saying it. Now, <clears throat> I kind of went out the window with this, okay? I kind of did my own thing where I'm doing the positioning and the phonetics. I might use one one time, like the phonetics one time, positioning another time, combination of the both. Why? Because it gives me more images. So let's take zero, zero, zero. Now, phonetically, this might be a different number depending on how you say scissors, right? Scissors. So there's that R sound, right? That could be a four. An R sound is a four. So this could be zero, zero, four. So why is it zero, zero, zero? There's an S in the beginning, S in the middle, S at the end. <laughs> there we go, zero, zero, zero. And so I'm using a combination because it just gives me a lot more image. And it does matter because I can't use every image that comes to mind because it might be too similar to this other image. Um, that slot might actually be filled with another image I created before. And so there's so many issues that happens when you're trying to use a very specific code, okay? And essentially, I have to have three different letters appear in a word. No, this one first, this one second, this one third. And so it makes it a very tight group already, but having the phonetics and the positioning gives me just a little bit more, okay? And another thing I've learned to do, <laughs> this is funny, I just like it, ass cheek. Um, I'm finding different words for the same object because I might have a word here, right? Like sizzle or sausage or uh, ass cheek. I might have a word there, but I'm like, oh, wait, can I change what I'm calling it? Like ass cheek could be a butt. It could just be an ass, right? And so having these different words for the same objects allows me to use it in a different position if I need to. If this was already filled with something else, I'm like, okay, I can't use ass cheek, but but is the same thing as that, right? And so <laughs> I could use but for a different part of the system. So I'm getting very good at that, which makes me extremely happy because it, g it gives me more options, right? Same object, multiple names, more options. When in my book. And right now, as you can see, I have 196 filled. I have uh, 1,156 left. Uh, if it's good or not, I'm not sure, but I'm making progress. Now, let me show you what I've been working on um, right before I started this video. It is really cool, and I'll include it. Don't worry about it. So I just finished 33 for this specific card combination, okay? And this is where the coding system for the cards was messing me up. I think I fixed it. Um, but right here, 33, so that's MM. So I got ammo. I've been using two sites, and they've been lifesavers. This is the first one. You could type in different numbers and it gives you different words that fit that number combination phonetically, okay? So 33. So I went here, I have a mummy 333. Um, I didn't use 
um, mama, mommy, or anything like that. Because, I don't know, it just wasn't, it just didn't feel good in the coding, you know? I think I might have used it somewhere else. I'm like, okay, let me not use that. But look, okay, what's the issue? I'm not, I don't want to use any of these words. Great. Now I have to start thinking up words or go to a dictionary. You know, what do I do from here? Well, this is where the other side comes in handy. So right here, I could type in any letters, and it's going to give me words that have these letters in this order, but not like it has to be exactly first, middle, or whatever. Just this has to be M first, then the M second, and so on. So let me show you what I mean. So say if I want P-O-L. <clears throat> so right here, right? P-O-L, P-O-L. So you can see what I mean by these letters come in this specific order. I'm typing it, but it doesn't have to be like P has to be first or L has to be last. And so let's go back to M-M. <clears throat> Lifesaver. Um, so right here, you know, I started going through. I'm like, okay, there's mom again. No. Whoa, ammo. So I'm not sure for this if ammo just phonetically doesn't sound like it has two M's or something. I'm not sure. But like I was saying, hey, what if I use the positioning? Ammo, M-M. -M. There's two M's. Boom. I'm solid. So I went and typed ammo here. And that is giving me such a relief on how many images I could get done. Because if I'm stuck with like the phonetics, right? Oh crap, there's nothing here. What do I do? Dictionary, start saying random words? <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. But this gives me other words that don't necessarily fit phonetically, but words that still fit positionally. Lifesaver. And so these are the two websites that have been saving me and giving me a lot of ideas when I get stuck. A cool thing I added to the Excel sheet is that I can find duplicates just in case I'm missing some overlapping at places, which there is, but if I write a duplicate word, it lights up green to let me know, which is extremely useful because if I didn't have this and I'd be writing all these different images and words and I think I'm done, but like, oh crap, 75 of them are repeats, great. Now back to the drawing board, so I really need to know. Now there's some issue with the code and that's why I have to figure it out before I explain it to you. But like right here, this is represented as 10. Ace of spades, king of spades is a 10. Now over here, ace of spades, 10 of spades is also a 10. Yes, there's a zero. And an issue I've been finding is that um, sometimes I have to drop the zero to get an image, okay? Because sometimes finding SS whatever is really hard even with the different websites I'm using. So like if I type in here, so this is 10 by itself. Look at all those words, wow. This is <laughs> zero, one, zero. So you can see how it's, it's a lot harder. And then, you know, over here, if I go, uh, so zero, one, zero, if we're going with that, it's gonna be SDS. And so the words aren't too nice even here gives you a lot of different options, but then you have all these little letter letters that are coming inside. And so sometimes I drop the zero. Well, the thing is, here's a situation where I might have a repeat image because technically the coding is the same. But I think I found a workaround, and I'll explain it more when I do the card system, but I'm going to keep these words super short, only the bare necessities to the coding system, like 2-2 two, two, and then none. 32 M and mine. So this has no additional word, <clears throat> additional letters from the system in the word. So that's what I'm doing right now to kind of hopefully prevent any confusion with those cards. Um, but that's what I'm doing right now. But so far I'm doing pretty good. 196 images done, you know, 1156 more or 1156 more. Right. And so I still, I'm still going, still kind of hammering through. Once I start getting closer, I can already feel it because I'm thinking of different like things, um, images and words. Um, some of them are already repeating in terms of like, oh, our, I already have an image for 13. And so I'm like, oh, great. That was such a good one. Um, and so that's already happening. And, you know, I'm not even under a thousand yet. And so once I get smaller amount, like 50, 100, it's going to be extremely hard. And you know, using this to help me, you know, like something like that. 
that's not a good sign, right? Because I'm going to need an image for that number. But as you can see, there's no results for it. Let's see, 569. Let me just type that in real fast. 569, 569. So that would be uh, L, G, or J. L, G, 9, B. Okay. Let's see what we get. Oh, boy. Algebra. See, like, even then, you know, it ends with an R. Am I doing it phonetically? Am I doing it positionally? You know, so you can see the issues that are going to come up, but these words are extremely difficult. And there's a point where they're so long, it's not even worth trying to pick one of these words because it's not even tangible anymore. And so that's something I know I'm going to face, and I'm really excited to share with you what I find out, what I learn, what can I do in order to overcome that issue. Right now, I'm not going to think about it because that's future Johnny's problem. But um, that's so far what I learned when creating all these images so far. <clears throat> well, fill out what you know. Uh, fill out what you can. Make compromises on your system, you know, if it's phonetically, if it's positionally, you know, do a combination of all those things. Um, and then, you know, using other source resources, you know, there's no... There's no reason not to use them, you know, especially when there's so many images. You need other ideas. It's just you usually creating these systems, and so you get stuck in your head. Your vision is going to be so narrow because it's you because you're thinking like you think. So having other ideas, like, oh, I didn't see that word. or Ooh, that's a good, good example. And so these two sites, definitely, definitely huge. And they'll be down below. Don't worry about it. But um, I find these life-saving. And as you can tell, they don't always work like this number. Man, it's going to suck trying to figure out something for this one. Maybe I could find like a name or a person I know or a character might fit here because it looks like um, tangible words. Um, that can actually like picture, not going to work here. Um, so yeah, so that's the progress I've made so far. Not too shabby for only two days work. I'm probably going to stop today at least when I get 200 images so I can feel good about myself. But yeah, um, just... Stay tuned for the next video where I'm probably going to explain the card system um, so you can understand how that works. But like I said, that's not stopping me right now. I'm filling out what I can, right? The first thing I learned. And so the card system was kind of confusing, but these numbers still represent the cards. I could use the numbers to help me. So don't get so stuck in your thinking that, oh, I'm card system. I have to understand the card system first. I have to get that down, then start creating images. No, you need to create images as soon as possible because eventually... If I fill everything out, what happens next? I have to check everything, review everything. Is there any similar items? Anything too close that might confuse it? Anything that doesn't fit the code? Maybe at the time I just thought it fit the code. You know, there's so much to do even after I finish it. Then after that, I have to start learning it. And that's a challenge in itself. But yeah, so get ready to see more of the system being completed and learning more about how you could complete it as quickly as possible.